Hey everybody, I'm trying a different lighting setup since um, the main uh, spotlight that I usually use for video lighting is casting a bit of a glare on this fan for some reason, so I'm going to try it off, and with all the ceiling fan light kits on, we're going to see how we like it. Um, but anyway, with that aside, what you see here is a vintage Sears Homart box fan. 20 inch box fan um and this is i want to say probably from the late 50s early 60s maybe um it's probably yeah i'm not not really sure um it is very old it has been used obviously um and i got this one last week but i had to do a little bit of a restoration on it and i'll tell you all about that in just a second but this fan it's in pretty good shape. Um, the guy who I got it from said he had had it for about 10 years. Um, and it worked when he had it. So, um, yeah, I am I'm not sure what the story on this one is exactly. But, yeah, it, it's definitely a very nice one. It um, is kind of in a similar design to the belt drive home art that I have, the big window fan, which is out in the garage right now. I didn't want to, didn't feel like lugging it in here. So if you want to see that video, I'll link that one in the description and in the little eye icon up at the top right corner of the video. But um, anyway, it does have very similar blade set design. It's not the same blade. The blade on that one is much steeper pitched and I think a bit, the hub is larger. Um, it doesn't have that, uh, isn't recessed like that where the blades, for the blades to go around the motor. Um, yeah, but the fins are the same shape, that sort of square or rectangular shape that's kind of cut like that. It's really, really neat design. Um, the grills are chrome, but, and the top here of the handle is chrome, but everything else is brown. Um, and you can see that yes, it does have both the fan speed switch and a thermostat as well. So this is sort of a deluxe model. Now there was another model that they had that had the fan uh, speed switch that was reversible. For, um, so it had three speeds for exhaust and three speeds for intake, I think. Um, not entirely sure about that. But then instead of a thermostat, it had a 10-hour timer, I believe. I think it was a timer. I think it was 10 hours. Um, yeah, one of my friends actually has one of those. Um, but the switch on his is broken, unfortunately. Um, mine, the switches all work on mine. However, the knob on this one, the fan speed switch, is missing. This knob is just a temporary uh, replacement, so I can at least turn it. Because as you can see, I thought, oh, I can just stick the thermostat knob on there, and that'll work. No, because the thermostat, the knob is round with this little extra um, tab here to hold it to... Uh, be able to turn it. This one's um, actual switch shaft is rectangular. It's just like a, a blade. So yeah, this did not, this isn't going to work as you can see. However, there is a video of one of these on YouTube of one that's in like an absolute mint condition. And I did see that in that video, both the thermostat knob and the speed knob are like exactly the same design. So I know what kind of knob I need to find, or at least uh, I can maybe 3d print and uh, replicate this one but for now i just use this knob it's from a casablanca ceiling fan speed control but um you can see that the fan speed and the thermostat um the badges are oriented that way um but there's a badge on this side here now on the back side of the fan there is no badge however if you look really closely you can see where the grill is not as dirty where there used to be a badge. So um, in that other video that I mentioned of the one in mint condition, I also noticed that there were badges on both the front and rear grill. Now, actually, when I got this one, I have to say, um, this grill was on the back, and I just decided to put this grill on the front simply because this is technically the front of the fan, if you would, if you will, because um, it like blows out this way. But if you're putting this in a window, it would make sense to have this one be on the 
back here because um, you would stick it in the window this way and have it exhaust out because this one is really only, I guess, meant for exhaust, being that it's not reversible. Um, and that is, again, if you have it in a window. If you're using it as a box fan, it's just a box fan. Um, so anyway, they also made versions of these with stands. And I have seen those before, and you can see here the little uh, buttons that they put in, little plugs for the holes where they would where you would mount the stand. Um, so anyway, I'm going to turn the fan all the way around now. So you can see the back side and the motor. And also this one does have the Venturi shroud as well. Um, typically fans, box fans from the 50s and 60s had that. And then I think that started to die off in the 70s. But um, the motor bracket is pretty interesting. It has a crossbar that way. And there's only one bar going halfway up. And it has mounting holes for these two, but it doesn't go all the way up to the top of the cabinet, which is really interesting. Um, and then the motor on this one is a universal motor, just like the one in the Welch that I filmed last, um, that I filmed recently. But it's, a, it's a different, for it got a different tag on it, so it might be a different model. It looks, a, it definitely is a bit different. That one had round holes. This one has sort of like rectangular trapezoidal holes but um yeah the handle is like rubber and the holder for it is chrome of course and it is quite heavy now the other thing is that the bottom is sort of slanted it's really weird um the bottom is actually in pretty good condition and there's a stamp that says 159 the actual tag is right there on the inside of the cabinet and you can't really read it without opening the grill Thankfully, the grills are really easy to open. There are these four hooks on either corner. You just pull up and release it from either of the top ones, and then it just pops right off. So here's the tag. Model number 480-9360-6. And... Yeah. So... Well, let's see, the motor is rated 2.2 .2 amps. Um, yeah, very cool. And then you get a closer view of the blade design and the Venturi shroud. So now I'm going to stick the grill back on and we're going to go ahead and give the fan a test. Oh, I forgot to mention the little bit of restoration that I had to do on this one before I started up. Um, when I got it first, the wiring was kind of messed up. This cord is, repla is a replacement, as you probably could tell by this uh, label here. It's an extension cord that they cut the end off of. But it was just kind of like going in through here and into the box there where the speed coil is. There is a, It is controlled by a speed coil, just like the Welch again. But um, the wiring was pretty scary in this thing. Um, the cord had been uh, connected with electrical tape. It had just been spliced um, with like green tape. I think it wasn't even electrical tape, it was just like green tape. Um, and I had to basically install the cord the proper way. The motor, when I got it, it made a horrible buzzing sound. So I had to take the motor apart completely and varnish the windings. Thankfully now it, um, may, it does not make any noise at all, barely. So that was a success. Um, I also basically redid all the wiring. I made all the wiring go in through that rubber grommet there before it was like all a mess. Um, when I pulled the motor out first, I like pulled on the wiring. The wiring came right out for the motor. So that was, it was just like wire nuts in there and they were all really loose. Um, but yeah, and then the next step is just to get a replacement switch knob. So the uh, wiring is all good and fixed good and in place. The last and uh, other thing I have to do is get a grommet here for the cord for this whole um, Motor is 100% working and works great. So now, with that being said, let's go ahead and start the fan up. So I have the switch set to, let's see, I have it set to high. We're going to start it up on high, and I'm going to actually turn the thermostat on to start it up. So we're going to turn it to cooler. You should see it. There it goes. And 
that is much quieter than it was before. Before it just made like an awful like humming, almost grinding, buzzing sound. So I'm very, very happy with how that turned out. Definitely going to be using this one this summer in the garage. speed and low speed Spin it down from low. I should have turned the thermostat off, actually. But that's okay. It did have a pretty long spin down time when I got it, but I did make sure to clean and oil the bearings while I had the motor apart. So now, let's go back here and I'm going to show you the really cool startup sound that this fan has. So we'll turn it back to high. Very cool. I'm going to spin down from high and I'm going to turn the thermostat off to power it down. I don't think I showed you a good view of the tag there. Homart, Sears, Roebuck and Company, same logo as the window fan. And I do like how the tag is like the same shape as the fan itself. That's pretty cool. Nice little touch. Anyway, um, that is just about it for this video. So that is once again the Sears Homart 20 inch box fan with thermostat. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next video.